Good morning, Kip. How's it going? How's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. So, yeah, I've been just thinking about leaving, as you know, for quite a while. It looks like the weather's supposed to start warming up again next Sunday. I mean, it's warm right now, but today it's only supposed to get up to 69 degrees. And if it's not windy, that's going to feel really nice. And so it's going to be almost 90 degrees in 10 days. And that doesn't mean it's not going to cool down again, but I think the tentative plan, which can always change, is to leave by Sunday and head on down to Ajo and yeah find some hopefully find some free camping there because I have noticed one other thing I've noticed is there's a lot more people here this year like across the interstate there's free camping over there and it's been pretty much packed over there all year and it's normally not like that over there. a lot of people are going to discover that it's not for them it's you know it's it's a different kind of life, especially if you're not, don't have it really planned out and your rig isn't set up totally. What do you think about Ajo, Kip? You excited? You excited to leave? He's very relaxed right now. Kip is in a very relaxed state. He's going to loaf like a bread loaf on the table. I'm actually a little bit sad about leaving Yuma because, you know, some of the things in life you don't realize are the last moments, and then before you know it, it's too late. Just think of the friends you never see anymore. There was obviously a last day that you spent with them. There was a last time you looked at them, but you don't realize that it's the last time when it's happening. This could very well be my last time here in Yuma. No, I may never come here again. You never know. It's a definite possibility. So, before I leave in this next week, I'm gonna try and keep that in mind. And I'm gonna really try to find places that I haven't been and maybe go revisit some places that are really nostalgic for me. Like maybe go, go on over at some point to Friendship Park and just walk around the tennis courts and just, you know, feel the fence, touch the nets, things like that. There's no way I can afford to do this if it's gonna cost me $4,000 in gas every year you know like 1800 bucks in gas that was pretty expensive but I could somehow make up for that by the amount of fuel and energy I'm saving by not having to heat my house I don't know what we're all gonna do if energy prices just keep going up but I'm getting a little bit off topic so yeah, I need to do some things, visit some places, and just really put my hand on everything. Maybe take some selfies at places. And really try to just live every day, realizing that it could be the very last time I'm ever at this particular place. Even when I go to Ajo, there's places I need to go. I have memories of all these places, you know, with my kids. As they were becoming adults, where I was just grasping onto the, the shirt tails of what was their childhood. So I will never see those days again. And I did not take that for granted. I knew it was coming and I didn't want to lose it. That was my everything. That was my whole reason for living was to take care of my children and to teach my children. So that's how uprooted that has been to me. These things that we love, that we take for granted every day can just suddenly be gone. 
people, places, things. So that's what I'm going to be doing my last week here is really just uh, cherishing everything there is about Yuma that I like and that I have memories about. A lot of times stuff that's happening right now may not seem that fun, but looking back on it years of the future, you just like, wow, that was awesome. It's just the way it goes. I'm gonna look back at this. Me being by myself down here in Yuma, as lonely as it sounds, I'm gonna look back at that and be like, wow, that was quite the experience. Just me and Kip and Piss Boy Teddy. All right, guys, that's it. See you in the next video. Peace.